Next question asks, what is Mr. Finch's speed if he travels 80 miles in four hours? We're gonna plot, we're gonna find our values for our variables first. So V, it says, what is Mr. Finch's speed? We don't know the speed, so for velocity, I'm gonna put a question mark. If he travels 80 miles, so 80 miles is a D distance. Um, so I'm gonna write that in here. Instead of writing D, I'm gonna keep the variable that we have here, X. And for X, I'm gonna write 80 miles. All right, four hours is a time, length of time. So I'll write four hours right there. Perfect. All right, step one on my solving is gonna be plug it in. So I've got velocity equals change in distance of a change in time. I don't know my velocity, so I'll leave V there. Equals change in distance is 80 miles. And I'll abbreviate miles with MI. And time, change in time is four hours. So I'll write four HR, four hours. Okay, divide. So now we have to divide these two numbers. Um, so I'm gonna rewrite my whole equation. V equals 80 miles over four hours. Um, remember, you're gonna think about the 80 as a person riding on this ridiculously disappointing looking monster. Um, the four, the 80, the person on top goes inside of this. And then the four is gonna go on the outside of the division sign. You're trying to find how many times four fits inside of 80. So four goes into eight two times. That gives me eight, four times eight is two, or two times four is eight. Um, eight minus eight is zero, zero again, four goes into zero, zero times. My final answer is 20. We were solving for velocity, so I'm gonna rewrite over here, answer with units, V equals, and it's 20. And my units that I had were miles over hours, so I'm gonna 20 miles,